Now, I'm sure you'll agree that there have been a couple of downsides to this whole pandemic, including, I guess, schools being cancelled, exams being cancelled, and also really the opportunity for students who are learning physics to maybe get out and about, to go to university departments, to actually go to real places and see physics actually happening in real life. But one good thing is, um, is that, you know, with technology now and the access that people have to online stuff, the fact that you're watching me now talking about this, I mean, you also have access online to lots and lots of virtual things. Now, I'm going to go through three of them that I found out about. Um, what I do tend to do is when I find out about things that you can sign up for, I do put them on my physics online YouTube channel. I put them in the community section. Um, and you can see, although I've got like random pictures of stuff I've got here, often uh, down here is where I actually put uh, links to things um, that might be helpful for you. Now, a couple of things coming up are going to be useful for GCS students and A-level students. They're really handy if you actually like physics, which is, I guess, why you might be thinking about or you might currently be studying A-level physics. But also it's something that you can actually talk about in maybe UCAS statements about why you want to do physics or engineering at a particular university. Um, so yeah, here we go. The first one is a particle physics virtual summer school. Um, this one over here, um, it's run by St. Paul's School um, and their partnerships. And basically, there's a series of lectures about particle physics by proper doctors, you know, not like people like me who've just kind of read about it and learnt it themselves. Um, so there are lectures about detectors, accelerators, um, all of this stuff here you will be learning about when you do A-level physics, and it's often the more interesting part of the course. So there's loads of stuff here. Um, about loads, and I think there's Lego involved as well, so it must be good. And also, they've um, I know that uh, they've just been making these Feynman diagram um, domino things. So yeah, I might actually sign up for it myself. It sounds really good. So this one is happening in July. It's completely free to go to, I think. Um, and again, it's got the introduction here. It's got what's happening, um, and then you basically fill in the form, and that allows you to then register for that event. So the first one is I think would be really useful if you're thinking about starting A-level physics or you're currently doing A-level physics at the moment. So this one over here um, is in July from the 14th to the 16th. That's worth doing. You might not be able to commit that much time. And the other one that I found out recently about on Twitter, which again I'll put links to beneath this, is something at the University of Bath, which is just near me. Um, I kind of live near Bath. So yeah, this one over here, um, it's a virtual conference for GCSE and A-level students on the 10th of July. Again, I'll put the link up to it. You need to sign in with Eventbrite. Um, but basically, it's going to be talking about, in this case, astrophysics. Again, the thing that you might do a very small amount of with GCSE. And some of you, especially if you're doing AQA physics, which is the most popular A-level physics, some of you might not be doing the astrophysics option at the end of year 13. So again, this is a chance for you to find out a little bit more about space. Um, and yeah, so basically, the details are a little bit more sketchy on that one in terms of exactly what's happening. But that's uh, like a, a Saturday event on the 10th of July talking about astrophysics. So that is worth doing. So there are these kind of student-focused events that you can go, you can attend, you can probably have it on in the background while you may be doing some other work or just, you know, you want to kind of fully put your attention into it. These things here are great and you don't know where that kind of passion from the people presenting is going to lead you in the future. Now, a lot of you, especially if you're doing A-level physics, are probably going to go to university. I think something like 99% of A-level physics students go on to university and it is really difficult to actually just go and wander around the campus. But something which universities have really had to step up to is doing online virtual tours. This one over here, for example, um, is what you have with the Cambridge Engineering Department. And you can see here that throughout July, and this is going to be really important if you're in year 12 and you're doing your kind of UCAS applications or you're thinking about starting the process of applying for university, you can actually go to so many things that you maybe couldn't have done several years ago. I mean, I know when I was applying for university, a long time ago, you had to physically get the train there, then they'd kind of, you'd wander around some workshops and so on. Now you can do all of that virtually, and that means you can probably see a lot more different departments and a different un different universities. So these ones over here that uh, Cambridge are running uh, for the engineering course, um, you know, you've got mechanics and materials, you've got manufacturing, electrical. Uh, let's say we did mechanics and materials, you can then register here, um, 
you know, again, it's pretty straightforward. It's a very simple way of doing things. Um, and they can then let you onto the Zoom calls, onto the kind of virtual tours that they're running. And Cambridge do that for loads of different subjects. So what you can see down here, it's not just physics and engineering, it's pretty much everything. They've now got virtual tours, or at the very least, they've got links to when they're going to become available. All kind of sort of happening around July time. So again, I'll link to that beneath the video. Now, these are just things I've heard about recently. I know that there've, there have been these really good, you know, really, really good particle physics masterclasses run by the University of York. Um, I'm sure the Cardiff University have been doing things. I think probably the big universities who want to kind of promote what they're doing, they're trying to put on things for students because they realise that things they normally put on just can't happen at the moment. So as soon as I find out about things, either by email, either by looking at Twitter or just hearing other teachers talking about it, I will put it up on my physics YouTube channel um, under the community section, because uh, I know that's where loads of students actually get your information from. So there's stuff out there. It's really down to you to kind of, uh, kind of keep up to date with things. And if you see something out there, register for it. They're all free to do um, and you know you never know where this might lead at the very least it's going to help you actually understand the subject and that means when you're learning about it in school and your teachers are talking about this kind of particle detector or um, this kind of kind of supernova and what this actually means you'll have a better understanding about it so there we go virtual online things don't have to my voice there. Um, again, if you want to see lots more online stuff, you can obviously make sure that you go and look at my A-level and GCSE websites and subscribe to me on YouTube because as I find out about more things, I will do my best to share that with as wide a um, set of people as possible. So until next time in my next video, goodbye.